Yo, what's going on guys? It's Fikatsu here, and today we're going to be showcasing a new client. Well, I'm actually not too sure how new it is. I don't know when it came out. But this is the Sal Weir launcher. The main reason I'm making this video is because, first of all, it's a new client that you've probably never heard of. But mostly because this is a client for premium users, so that means you bought a Minecraft account, as well as non-premium users. I get a lot of questions on my Lunar Client video and my you know PvP Lounge video asking if the client is for non-premium and obviously they're not so I always have to tell them that they're not so once again I'm mainly making this video for those people who don't have a premium Minecraft account and are looking for a client that they can use on non-premium servers if you have a premium Minecraft account I would not recommend using this client there's better options out there like Bad Lion Client, Lunar Client, PvP Lounge and using this client on a premium server like Hypixel might get you banned because some of the features it has may not be allowed on Hypixel so once again if you have a premium Minecraft account which means you bought your account and you can log on servers like Hypixel and Lunar if you have a premium Minecraft account that you bought and you can log on to servers like that I would not use this client once again making this video for people who have a non premium Minecraft account you can use it on premium servers but it does have a few features that might not be allowed so I will leave the website down there if you want to check it out. Once again, I also don't know the safety of this client. But anyways, here's the website. I'll leave a link in the description if you do decide to download it. So anyways, to download the client, you just go here and you click on download. It's going to download the .jar file. Now this is not like Lunar Client or Bad Line Client where it's a launcher. What you want to do with this is you want to go to your desktop, right click, create a new folder, and name it whatever you want. I'm going to name mine Sal Client. And then what you want to do is you want to drag the .jar into that file. Once you do that, you can close out of your web browser. You're going to want to go into the folder. And now you're going to have the Salware Minecraft launcher. You're going to want to double click this. You can see it's going to check and then it's going to launch. Right, so once you launch, it should download everything needed for the client. And whenever it's done, it should say ready to play. And this is where you can select your version 1.9 or 1.8. Now for some reason it's 1.8.8. I'm not too sure why that is. I think that might have something to do with you know non-premium servers, but I'm not too sure. Whenever it says ready to play, you're able to select whichever version you want. I'm going to showcase the 1.8 version. I'm just going to click on play. I'm going to check everything and prepare, and then it's going to launch. Alright, so right there you saw a pretty smooth animation, if I'm being honest. Now whenever you first launch up the client, it is going to ask you what language you want. I've already launched it before. So it already remembered what I set my language to, but they have all types of different language support. Obviously, I chose English when I did this. Once you launch up, you're going to have this home screen. Um, it has this weird like background that sort of like moves with your mouse. I'm not too sure how I like that. Going into options, it does have Optifine. There are some controls that you might want to change in here. Clicking on client, this will show you all of the mods for the client. Going to multiplayer, this is actually kind of cool. It has a custom server list, so you can fit more on your screen at once. Now I don't have any non-premium servers because I, I don't really play any non-premium servers. So for example, if I wanted to join Hypixel, once again, if you have a premium account, I would not recommend using this client as it could get you banned on Hypixel. And there's other and there's better options out there. Again, this is for non-premium users, but just as an example, if you had a non-premium server up here, what you do is you would click on it and then it would pop up another menu. And right here is where it would show playtime, but obviously the client hasn't been able to get any of that information because I've never logged on Hypixel with this client. Once you click on a server though, you can click on join server and then you can add an account. This is where you will add a premium account. However, if you're using this for a non-premium account, obviously you're gonna click on free account and then just type in whatever IGN you wanted. Going back to the home screen, you do have add-ons. Now this is where you can create like your own mods, it seems like. I have no idea how to do any of this, so I'm just going to leave that. There is a help page, but I can see it doesn't have anything just yet. Now one important thing that's kind of weird, um, they don't have any animations. Since I never logged into my account, I have a default player, so I've never really messed around with non-premium, so I'm not really too sure how all this stuff works. I can see this client does have some pretty cool features, like the playtime for the server, that's cool. If you look at the keystrokes, as you can see, it has the mouse movement mod, so I can see that little dot up here, this is what I'm talking about by the way, it sort of moves around with your mouse, which is kind of cool. By default, your mods are going to look similar to this, this up here is going to have a background, Going into the escape menu, it's got a custom menu. Um, there's this weird thing right here. I'm not really too sure what this is. In order to edit your mods, what you want to do is press escape and then click on the Sal Launcher button. These are all the mods it has. Quite a few for an unknown client like this. And you see you have key mod. This basically keystrokes. And you can see you can turn off the mouse buttons, but there's no way to just disable the mouse movement. 
You can change the position as well as the pressed color. And you can see I have mine set to chroma. Chat, they have different styles. It does have a little preview of the mod, which I think is pretty cool. So style zero is your default Minecraft. Style two is clear chat. And then style one is this sort of like weird chat. So if I type a message, it only renders a box with however many like letters there is. So I don't know, kind of hard to explain, but as you can see, that's what it looks like. Also with chat, you do have all server chat and then this sal chat which will let you talk to other sal client users down here in the bottom right you do have emoji support which is kind of cool i guess so you can type little emojis in chat and other people on sal client will be able to see that going back into here you have reach display same options as key mod particle mod not sure if this is the legit version this might be the version that sends extra packets to servers which is why i said use at your own risk Compass up here at the top and you can see it has different modes. You can turn on a background and turn it off, turn on rainbow if you want. Toggle sprint, you can change what the text says. Toggle walk, this is the one thing that I would say might get you banned on Hypixel. Once again, if you were to use this, don't recommend it as once again, there's better options out there. But as you can see, toggle walk, basically I press one key. You can see by my keystrokes that I'm not, I'm not pressing W, it's just automatically walking and sprinting. Once again, this is definitely something that would likely be bannable on Hypixel, so I wouldn't recommend using it. I only recommend using this if you are one of those non-premium users. Going back in, you do have Tag TNT, which is sort of like the TNT countdown the gear made. And you can see it gives you a little preview, which I think is pretty cool that it actually shows you a preview of the mod. Scoreboard, you can turn it on and off, disable the numbers. Auto login, not sure exactly what that is for. Notifications, it's actually pretty cool. Apparently these are for a server called Funcraft, which will like send you friend request notifications, which actually looks pretty nice. Boss bar, you can turn it on and off and change the scale. FPS, it'll show you what FPS you're getting. Crosshair, pretty much exactly like that one crosshair mod for Forge. Item physics, once again, pretty cool. It gives you a little preview. Toggle sneak, better sky, this is basically the time changer mod. Motion blur, pretty self-explanatory armor hud only has options to toggle it on and off and by default it is next to your hotbar and then mumble link i've never really used this mod so i can't tell you exactly what it does again just making this video for the non-premium users who watch my videos watch my lunar client video and and asked if lunar client and you know badline client pup lounge were all non-premium and obviously they're all premium clients so anyways that's pretty much it for this video if you did enjoy be sure to leave a like subscribe for more content in the near future and i'll talk to you guys later Peace.